Howdy folks, hope you're all having a great day. Uh, in today's uh, little what's in it video, we're going to take a look at uh, an older model electronic calculator and see if they're worth taking apart and if there's anything good inside them. So uh, let's uh, flip this camera around and uh, take a quick look at it, shall we? Alright, so what we have here is a Sharp Compete CS2612. Uh, it appears to be an older style um, calculator. It's Looks like to be an older display there. It does have some heft to it, so might be a, a transfer under there. Uh, maybe some motors under here to operate these wheels, which I thought were uh, might be brass, but uh, the magnet sticks to them, so it's obviously a ferrous steel. Uh, to take this apart, I didn't find any screws on the bottom, so I'm assuming that it snaps together, but there are two screws on the back here. So I'll just undo those two screws and then pull the snaps out and we'll see what we got. Alright, uh, so pop those two screws off and it opened up pretty easily after that. Uh, looks like we might have a little bit of silver mylar here um, to, for these buttons, potentially. I don't know, we'll have to see what happens when we take that plate off. Um, we got uh, one glass display there we'll take a look at. We do have the bigger transformer like I thought. And then we got uh, whatever this little motor assembly is. Um, let's try and make things easy for ourselves and we'll undo this panel first and uh, get that out of the way so we can remove that lid and then see what else comes out here. Appears to be a low grade board, but uh, we'll see if there's anything on there worth keeping. We'll just spin this around so you can see what it looks like in here. So, so there we go. Little display there, little wire. So. Like I said, we'll uh, we'll take this off so we can get it separated out, and then uh, we'll just see what's in in the back here. All right, so we took that plate off, and it is a piece of silver mylar that's on there. So this is now pretty much garbage. There was I don't know if you remember it was something like that a row of switches there, um, the P and the K and all that. So what those are is, uh, is these things here, and they just slide along. All right, so. Just gonna slide this one off here. We don't want to drop anything out. There's a little tiny spring and ball bearing in there. That's just tin. And then there's also this little thing here, which is um, just a tiny piece of brass inside some rubber. Not too much, I know, but it's it's there, so we'll just take it out. All right, so we got that other one out of the way now. So now let's take a look at maybe removing one of these other boards. Uh, we'll see if we can't take this low grade board off and uh, maybe get this transformer out of the way as well and then we can concentrate on this back unit here alright so this is just held in with the one screw as you can see the wires are still attached here um, I want to take a look at this transformer to see if it was worth taking apart and as you can see the shims are um, they're interwoven it's on a solid weld down the side so for me that's not really worth taking it apart so what I'll do is I'll just snip it out and then just sell that transformer as is. Okay, so in taking a look at this low grade board, there's not too much there. Tiny piece of aluminum on the side, um, a few IC chips there, uh, maybe maybe a better chip there, I'm not too sure. This little ribbon wire, I don't know if I can get the lighting on it, kind of looks gold plated in some, in some lights. Like for me right there, it's uh, shining off as gold plated. So not too sure if that little ribbon wire is or not and then these um, LED displays now in the back where unfortunately where it's burnt out there you can sometimes get some gold plated uh, fasteners um, I don't see anything on this one but you take a look at this other low grade board I took out from a different electronic calculator right I don't know if the light will show it but in the corners um, so uh, for me to the left of the M and the E there that's gold plated connectors inside that. And same same as in that corner where it's a little burnt out there. So that's you kinda wanna look for those on uh, on on these types of displays. This came out of a different electronic calculator too, actually, this this board here. So um, so later on when I process circuit boards, well I might take a closer look to see if that's a little bit of gold plating underneath the uh, the burn spot back in there. And uh, I will figure out how to process those then at that time. All right, so uh, we, we got rid of the plastic. We took that off. This was a little switch that was attached to some wires there. Might be some silver contacts in that. Uh, we got a little bit of brass on the end, so we'll cut the we'll cut the plug out and pull the brass out. So 
Looks like there's another bit of a low grade board on there. A motor, obviously, to turn the things. A little bit of wiring. Maybe some brass in there. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll pull that motor out and get rid of this ribbon cable and uh, just see what we got. Inside, in, 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 in back in here though, we got uh, the one motor. So we got a motor and it also has um, a little bit of a copper transformer of its own there. Yeah, so I did a couple screws and I pulled that low grade board out. Um, we'll see what's underneath it. We'll pull out some of those copper spools. I just want to see if there's anything really worth keeping in, in here, in, in the hammers and all that. It appears to all be a metal, magnet sticks, everything. It's not really worth it to pull out that tiny bit of brass, or I don't think. So we'll just throw all that right into the metal bin. And uh, we'll just take apart this thing here in a second. Once I get this cleaned up, and we'll see if there's anything good underneath those things. All right, so I started popping some of these out here. Um, these things are just attached, soldered in right here to the board, and that's what's holding them in place. So if we break that connection, slide our screwdriver down there. So we break that connection, there we go. And now all three, you can see all three are just popping right out. So there we go. And then we've got three more little copper pieces there and some more tin. All right, so let's just do a really quick quick wrap up on what was inside one of these things. So we got rid of the plastic, obviously. Not too many little connectors, piece of brass, uh, a bit of yellow brass, and then we got these are off the cord. So we can tr we'll trim the copper off on those and then put those in the brass bin. Tiny bucket of steel, nothing uh, nothing too crazy there. Uh, one motor, one switch which might have silver in it. Um, what do we got here? Two, five, eight. Eight little copper spools, which um, uh, what I do is I throw these in a bucket and I'll, when I'm watching TV something one day, I'll snap it out and take the copper out. Uh, we do get a bit of silver mylar, which is uh, pretty cool. A little bit of insulated copper transformer and a little bit of low grade board, which may or may not have. Um, this may be a little bit of gold tracing. It, it, it sure does sparkle in the right light, and there may be a little bit of gold in here. And of course, we got the insulated wire there as well. All right, so that was a pretty fun little uh, little teardown for an electric calculator. That was an older model. Um, it, like you can tell by the ribbon and whatnot, it, it was pretty old. Um, but you got good stuff out of it for a hobby scrapper like myself. You got some copper transformers, a little motor, some copper um, spools to take apart on another day. You know, potentially um, some gold in that one uh, display, like we I saw on the other electro electronic calculator, and uh, some silver mylar. So, for like I said, for a little hobby scrapper like myself, works out pretty good. And there's a fun takedown too, pretty quick. So. I uh, just want to say thanks for watching. I do have another electronic calculator teardown video. I'll link that one to the bottom in the description. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon. Ciao, folks.